Guys, I just learned something crazy. I learned how to make your own livery in flight gear. Yes, I'm one of the ones that knows how to do it. And I am going to show you right now. And the way I learned was from a nine year old video. But still. Yeah. Um, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. And a nine year old video works. So. This is something that works on Windows. There is another way to do it on Mac. I've seen a person do it on Mac and I couldn't recreate it on Windows. So here I am in Windows with a nine year old video which is probably run on a very, very old version of Windows, but it still works. So now I'm gonna show you how. So first you go into your settings, then you go into that which is it means this PC my settings are in Danish so just follow the steps in terms of what I click on because many of my things are still in English but a lot of the things are not in English so anyway the next thing I do is click on programs then I go down to flight gear then I go to data aircraft and here is only two aircraft the reason for that is because the A330, I downloaded it via downloading it directly. It only works with zip file downloads. It doesn't work with any other. You need the zip file download to do this. Anyway, let's go into the A330, models, then you go into liveries. Now here's a lot of versions. Now the top one, that is the freight version. I know because... That's the one I did. I did one which I called the blue. And it's it was just a test. It's straight lines. Anyway. Let's do it on Rolls Royce for the I think this is the 300. Here there's a lot of others like Air Canada and China Eastern. But I'm gonna go for white. The white livery. Right here. That's the white livery. Then I'll take the white livery, I'll copy it, and then I'll move it into another folder. Let's say my video folder, folder where I have my videos. Then I'll paste it, and now I'll go to the white. I'll, I think it's right click, yeah. Then I go to open with, and then I choose paint. You can also do it in other ways. I'm just gonna, you know what, no. I am going to quickly go into Opera GX, my browser, and I'm going to go into Pixel R. That's what I use to edit thumbnails and a lot of others. Then I'll go and take this one in. And I'll just add the text. Blue Airways. And I'll choose a, I'll choose a dark blue for this, kind of like that but maybe a little bit lighter I'll make it bigger I'll put it on the side of the aircraft now this side is mirrored so on that side I'm gonna put some other words you know what I'm gonna put on that side wait a minute oh yeah this is the side you're gonna be looking for so it is technically the right way if I just do that then I'll drag that down to there. I think that should be the right way. Then here, I think that's the engines or something. I'm not sure. I think, yeah, I think that's that's the engines. Here is, let's say the vertical stabilizers will have a big blue B on them. Then I'll just take the color of that. And then I'll just quickly move that out of the way. And then I'll have to, I want this to be very precise, so it's just going to be centered, and then I move it up to the top. Centered, up to the top like that. And then I just have the B in the position right there. Copy, paste, and then I'll put that on the tail right there. Now let's say that that is it, and then I'll save it. I'll just save it as... This one is saved as white, and I'll save this as 
Blue Airways. Like that. And then I'll go into my videos folder where I have the other one and I'll just save it to there. Oh yeah, um, that makes sense. It has some system files for some reason. Anyway, um... If this doesn't work, I'll just let's see. Let's get it there. Now I'll go into there. Should be there. And I'll rename it to you know what? I'll just quickly move it into videos. And then here I'll delete white. And then I'll rename this one to Blue Airways. I know that's not how I really spell it here, but that's just how it's going to be spelled right there. Then I spell Blue Airways there. And then I go in here. And then I press Open With and I choose Notepad. It's very important that you choose Notepad. Then literally name is going to be Blue Airways. And now here's important. You need to select this as being the name of the fold, the, the name of the file. Blue Airways. And then I choose save. What I do with these two is I'll just quickly check yes it is checked and then I'll move these back into this folder and then uh, it might come with these security kind of warnings but I'll just ignore those and press continue now that that is done that should be it for the code and things now I'll just spawn into flight gear and I think I know it's the Rolls-Royce one. I know it's a Rolls-Royce engine. I don't know if it's the Voyager or it's the normal A330. 300. I'll just try. First, I'll try it with this one to see if it is the passenger one. Let's see if it is this one. It might not be. It might also be. Let's see if it is this one. We'll just wait. Then I'll go out. And then we'll see if it is this one. Select delivery. Down there it is. And it should load. And I don't think it saved delivery. I don't think it saved it quickly. It is definitely there. And it's also definitely right there, and it's not the same as the white livery. So I don't know why it isn't coming. Normally it should be coming up. There's a possibility that you need to do something here. Let me just see. Let's open with paints. It is definitely there, and uh, I can tell you it did work when I opened it with paint. So maybe you just need to open it with paint instead of that. I'll quickly close light gear and then I'll just do it with paint instead. I'll delete those two files and then I'll just do it again with paint. So, lesson learned try and do it with paint because that's much easier. Then I know that it works because I know it works with paint. So, let's go into my videos again, paste it, white. Now, let's open it with paints because I know paint works now I'm not that good at working with paint I never use paint so let's see could I how do you write text with paint how do I write text with paint uh file Mm, no, sorry. Let's try and open it again with paint, and then I'll try and 
put it on top open and then I'll go into this and I'll save that save that as FSFS I'll just save it like that and now I'll go into paint and open FSFS let's see if I can find that somewhere it should be there let's see if I can save that save now let's see if I go into here and click on it two times no I just edited that file instead that is tricky how do I add something on top uh image property how do I put a picture on top I don't use paint that often open save save as prints how do I put a piss picture on top I don't use paint and I think it's quite clear to see that I don't use paint a lot I really don't use paint. Is there anything else I can open it with? Du, du, du. Let's see, now I'm in with all the apps. Uh, to be honest, I can't see anything else than Notepad. So we'll have to do... Oh, uh, no, uh, paint. How do I do it with paint? Uh, select. Select. Uh, I know you can add more, but how do you do that? About paint. How do you do this? I didn't think that the recording would be this long. Anyway, let's just paint something, just to show you how that it works. So I'll just paint something on the side of all of the things, including the engines. Let's do that and then let's save that. Now I this is changed. Now I know it doesn't look pretty, but it is something. Now I'll rename this to Ha. Huh. Now it isn't creative, but that just ha. Huh. Let's do the French version. Horn. You know that meme? It's not that good. Anyway, I'll just rename this to Horn. Now I'll redo this uh, by open with the notepad. The name of the livery should be Horn. And the picture horn.png. Are you ready? This should work if I save this. Good. That's now saved. Now you can also open it with Microsoft and change it there. I mean, I don't know how to change it actually. That's why I do it in Notepad because there I can change it. So, anyway. That should be it. Yes, everything is set as horn. Then they are on different levels. So uh, I'll just move. Let me see. I'll just move this into videos quickly so that they are on the same. Then I'll move this back in here. And now I'll just press like that. Now this should have worked. I've done it this way before and it should have worked. Now I'll also quickly move that back to videos. Like that. Now anyway, this should be working now. If I go into uh, programs again, go into flight gear, data, aircraft, FSA 330, Models, 
Fleury's. That one, I think. Then go down to H. Han is there. Good. This should work. I've done it this way before. This should definitely work. Let's see if this works. This should work. It should. Now. I've done it with the cargo version of the 200, but I've not done it with this one so far successfully. So let's see if it works. Delivery down to H. On. Yeah, that works. You can see the black stripe. That's totally uneven. So yeah, you can see that works. Let's even stripe on the engines. So yeah, um, that does work. Now, I am not sure if it would be a good idea to do it like that. Um, there should definitely be a way to change on the picture. Let me see. There should definitely be a way to edit it so that it would still work. But anyway, as that does work, I'll just upload this. I'll make a better tutorial once I've found a better way. But I'll probably just upload this without editing. So, because if I don't. If I can't make it easily, then I don't bother taking too much things into making it. So, I hope this helped you at least so that you could make something. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.